Yo, what is good, everybody? It's your boy Golden Golden Falls Golden. What if? Whatever you want to call me. And I'm back with a part two of this what if of what if Deku was trained by Frieza. Sorry for the little bit of the delay, but when you have two series going at the same time and you have other stuff going on as well, it kind of makes it a little bit difficult to balance things. I well, actually had three series going on right now. Actually, no, two now, but at the time it was three. So yeah, that's why um, this part was a little delayed, and I'm really sorry about that. But hey, we're here now. So um, yeah, um, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. If you enjoyed this video, and also check down in the, the description below um, my other links like my Twitch, my Discord, stuff like that. Um, and yeah, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time, and we're gonna get straight into this. What if? Let's get it. Midoriya blocks the hit from the Nomu that is about to strike Aizawa, and his body erupts in a gold aura. Midoriya punches the Nomu, and it slightly gets pushed backwards. Stupid kid! Nomu, kill him! Midoriya reaches out his hand, and as the Nomu charges back at him, he holds him off with his telekinesis. Aizawa, please move! Aizawa gets up and moves out of the way and activates his quirk from a distance. The Nomu is then slammed into the wall. Kid, did you? No, I didn't. Just stay back. Midoriya begins to shoot purple beams at the Nomu, piercing its body over and over again. Damn, this thing's regeneration is insane. The Nomu then slowly gets up while taking the hits from Midoriya and continues to push forward. Out of nowhere, a portal opens near Midoriya, and Shigaraki comes out of it, about to touch it. His fingers inches away from Midoriya's face, but he expands his aura, and Shigaraki goes flying. The door then flies open from the top of the USJ, and someone enters. No need to fear, because I am here. Midoriya sighs, thinking that, thank God, now I have some freaking help. Young Midoriya. I am now here, so do not worry. All Might charges in at the Nomu and punches the already lightly worn out Nomu out of the USJ. No, 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 no. This isn't fair. Uh, that dumb kid. All Might wasn't supposed to be. All Might was supposed to be the main fight, not him. Shigaraki then tells, tells Kurogiri to get him out. But, Midor but before they could, Midoriya blasts both of them and even sends a blast through the portal. They both get hit, and when they arrive at their base, it is partially destroyed. That damn kid. I swear I will kill him. Midoriya then collapses in exhaustion and remembers back to what Frieza said. That this new form, just like his, well, his own, will most likely drain his stamina immensely since he's not used to it. Aizawa picks up Midoriya and basically begins talking to him. <laughs> Good job, problem child. Thanks for the save. Yeah, yeah, no problem, Sensei. I'm just really tired. He takes Midoriya to Recovery Girl and the class gets two days off from school. After, after some recovery time, Midoriya heads home and tells Frieza about what happened. So yeah, I was able to awaken that golden form you were talking about, but... It just drained my stamina extremely fast, like you said. Frieza tells him that they will need to work on his energy, energy conservation and that it will allow him to maintain that form as if it was his regular form. So for the next two days, they, they did so. But Midoriya still can't really hold the form for very long because of how much training it will actually take to do so. The next, I mean, the two days off then pass and the students head back to school. When Midoriya arrives in class, Momo approaches him. Hey, I know you said you were quirkless, but how were you able to do ev everything you did in the USJ? Like your aura alone blasted that villain away. Midoriya then explains that he trained in something called Ki for years with Frieza. And that Ki, in a way, is kind of his quirk. Wait, so you're telling me anyone can learn Ki? Yeah, I guess so, but I don't think anyone but me and my dad really know how to use it. 
Well, I know we just became friends and all, but could you maybe... I can ask Frieza, but ultimately I don't feel comfortable teaching you unless he gives me the okay. Oh, okay, I understand. But I will definitely try my best to convince him. Midoriya smiles and Momo slightly blushes, and Aizawa enters the classroom. Hello, problem children. In the next couple days, the UA Sports Festival will occur. So all of you must start training and be ready. After normal classes that day, Midoriya heads home to ask Frieza if he could train a friend, a friend of his, basically how to use key. Oh, so who is this person? She's just a fellow recommended student. A she, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I guess you can teach your little girlfriend. Dad, it's not like that. Yeah, sure it is. Midori just rolls his eyes and heads to bed. The day of the UA Sports Festival occurs and he tells Momo that he is allowed to teach her. But the training is going to be really difficult. She tells him that she knows but thanks him for helping her basically get stronger. The UA Sports Festival then begins and all the classes head out to the field when introduced by midnight. She then tells the student representative Kotsky Bakugo to head to the stage. He approaches with his hands in his pockets and says, I'm gonna win. The crowd then begins to boo like crazy and saying that a good hero is humble, but Bakugo seems like he just doesn't care. He joins his class and Ida begins to tell Bakugo that why would he do that when he represents his whole class. Bakugo ignores him and the first event is announced to be an obstacle course. Nice, an obstacle course? Obstacle course? This should be, well, easy. The whole class stares at Midoriya, confused. Oh, sorry, I said that out loud. All of the classes line up, and present Mike gives a countdown, and the classes begin to go. Shoto then freezes everyone in a small corridor and begins to run. Midoriya, hovering above him, then speaks. That wasn't cool, Sho. Like, you know I hate the cold. Shoto looks up and just shakes his head as Midoriya then flies super fast past all the obstacles and cro crosses the finish line way faster than anyone else. Azuka Midoriya is the winner. Wow, that quirk is very convenient. Aizawa then talks into the speaker. Mm, he's quirkless, present Mike. What? How could that be? This, the the crowd is basically in shock and begin to talk as Midori just lays on the ground and he puts his hands well, behind his head. Midoriya then takes a nap while he waits for everyone to finish and Momo approaches him while he's taking a nap. Hey Azuku, like you're so freaking fast. Huh? Oh, hi Momo. I, I guess so, but obstacle course is super convenient for what I can do. Midnight then announces that the next event will be the cavalry battle, and the person who got first in the obstacle course will have 10 million points. Everyone then stares at Midoriya as if he was like some massive threat of some sort. Midoriya puts his hands on the back of his head and just sighs. Momo runs up to him and tells him to not worry that she will join him as well. He kind of just laughs and tells her that they're going to win pretty easily. Um, she looks at him confused, and then he says that he can fly, so. Oh, how did I even forget that you could do that? Nobody else actually joined them, so the two of them were on their own team. When the cavalry battle started, Momo got on Midoriya's shoulders, and he immediately flew straight up into the sky. Well, we win. How can you be so confident that nobody can actually get us? Well, I mean, Bakugo could get up here, but I could easily send him back down using telekinesis. Well, then, you want to listen to music? How are you going to do that? Momo then makes an iPod with earphones, and they basically just listen to music until the cavalry battle was over. Midori then gets announced as the first place winner, and everyone that got into the next round is, well, the same as in canon. Midori and Momo land on the ground, and Shoto walks up to him. You know, Izuku, that's a pretty boring way of winning. It's, hey, I, I know, but come on, I, I just can't. Just, I mean, I'm just not gonna just not do it. Maybe if y'all just trained more, you could actually hit me out of the sky. 
Shoto just laughs and tells him that he can't run when the 1v1 battles come. Yeah, yeah, I know, Sho. The 1 vs 1 battles are announced and the first fight is Midoriya vs Shinso. They both arrive at the stage. Now, begin! So you're the corkless loser. How pathetic. Midoriya just stays silent and looks at Shinso confused. Or are you just trying to lie to all of us? Trying to make yourself look better than me and all of us combined? Midoriya just rolls his eyes and using his telekinesis he hovers Shinso over the out of bounds. So Shinso, do you ever think about training? Like seriously, like working on your hand to hand combat? Shinso stares at him in shock and looks down toward the- basically down toward the ground. Uh, I know you have a brainwashing quirk, and as long as I make you hover here, I'm sure if you brainwash me, you'll just fall. Shar isn't, shar, sorry Shinso, but I am quirkless. Just got lucky, I guess, but I also trained like crazy. Maybe you should talk to Aizawa, you seem to have pretty similar situations. It's like you're the young version of him, it's kind of weird. Midoriya puts him down out of bounds and then walks off. Azuku Midoriya is the winner. Midoriya then watches as Shoto easily wins his match and some others and then his match, his next match is then announced. The next match is Azuku Midoriya versus Shoto Todoroki. The, they both enter the stage and nod at each other seemingly telling each other to go all out. Todoroki launches ice at Midoriya and he uses his blast to basically break through him. Midoriya lands a clean punch on him and Todoroki goes flying out of toward the ring but he catches himself just barely with the ice. As he does though, Midoriya pushes Shoto and the ice with his telekinesis and Shoto steps out of the bound out of bounds just barely. The winner is Azuku Midoriya. Shoto rolls his eyes in annoyance at the fact that he got called out of bounds. Don't worry, Sho. We will fight again without these restrictions. They both bump fists and head to the stands. Midoriya's next match is against Ida, but he easily wins the match when he avoids his recipro burst and throws him out of bounds. The final, the final is then announced to be Katsuki Bakugo versus Azuku Midoriya. Momo approaches Midoriya. Good luck. I mean, I'm sure you'll win, anyways. Thanks, Momo, but I'm not going to win. Uh, I have something else in mind. He walks away, and Momo is just completely confused. Both him and Bakugo walk up to the stage, and their fight is announced. You damn quirkless wannabe. <laughs> I get to show everyone how you aren't fit to be here. Midori then looks at him and just smiles. What are you smiling about, you damn nerd? Midori raises his hand. I forfeit. Bakugo's eyes flare in anger, and it's announced that Bakugo is the winner. But he begins to freak out, saying that this isn't a true win. Eventually, Midnight has to put him to sleep, and the award ceremony happens with Bakugo in restricted clothing. All Might approaches, congratulating everyone. Midoriya, you did very well today. I'm sincerely impressed. Thank you, All Might. The ceremony is then over, and the class are allowed to go home. Momo then, or Midoriya then gets a text from Momo saying why would he just give up? Midoriya explains that winning meant everything to Bakugo, but he would never want to win in that way. That That is what basically his payback was without actually hurting him. She basically tells him that like that was so cruel but like weirdly effective especially because of how Bakugo is. The next day Aizawa then explains to the class their internships. Okay class, this is a list of how many internships everyone has gotten. And you will have until the end of the day to decide where you want to go. Now, you will be choosing your hero names. But since that really isn't my thing, Midnight will be helping you. She enters and everyone begins choosing their hero names. And when it's Midoriya's turn, he walks up to the front and sh shows his board. The quirkless hero, Kariza. Midnight says that she loves it, but most of the class is kind of confused. But he just says it's basically just a nod at his father's name. In which they all remember that 
one of the top heroes, Frieza, did train him. He goes back to his seat, and class ends soon after. So, Momo, have you decided yet? Well, I assume you asked Frieza to offer me, huh? Well, you wanted to learn how to use keys, so what do you say? Okay, okay, I'm in. Okay, well, I will see you there, I guess. Midoriya leaves, and the next day they meet at Frieza's agency. Oh, Azuku, I'm glad you and your girlfriend could make it. They both blush like crazy. Dad, I told you we were just friends. Oh, yeah, I forgot, just friends. Frieza then explains that both her and Azuku will be training and showing her how to use key, but it will be extremely hard. But as, Azu but as Azuku is teaching her, he will be working on his brand new form as well. They both agree, and for the next four days, they train in teaching Momo how to use key. But she's only really able to learn how to fly, sort of. It's more like a hover. And be able to basically shoot very small key blasts. So she more or less is like Videl level of, but like beginning Videl le level. Um, Frieza then comes running into the gym and tells them that there is an emergency in Hosu and they have to go now. Midoriya tells Momo to hop on his back and they will fly to Hosu. And when they arrive, there's fire everywhere and no moves fighting heroes. Dad, what the hell is going on? Not sure, but stay close. As he says this, a flying Nomu comes out of nowhere kicking Midoriya and grabbing and grabbing Momo. Momo! Midoriya flies after the Nomu, blasting it out of the sky and catching Momo. Are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but what about you? He says that he's good, and they land on a nearby building. They then hear, hear something from a, an alley nearby, but it's a familiar voice talking. I'm here to kill you, Stain, to avenge my brother. Midoriya looks down to see Ida and Stain about a face off in a battle. What is this idiot doing? Midoriya tells Momo to basically just stay put, and he jumps down. Oh, another fake hero, huh? <laughs> Kid, I'll give you a chance to leave right now. Midoriya then realizes that this guy is going to be a huge threat. Midoriya, leave. This this is my fight. Midoriya turns and looks at Ida, saying that his brother would never want him to go after revenge, and plus, that he isn't going to just let him die. Oh, maybe you aren't a fake hero, kid. Actually, you do look kind of familiar. Midoriya ignores Stain and begins to power up. The dark area around them begins to light up with a golden glow, and he flies at Stain. Stain tries to strike him with his sword, but when he does so, the sword shatters. What is this, kid? Midori begins to outclass Stain in hand-to-hand -hand combat and punches him into the wall and holds them there using his telekinesis. Momo, I need something to tie him down. Momo then hovers her way down off the building, giving him a metallic rope and they tie Stain, Stain up and take away all his knives. Ida is just there in complete shock about what he just saw Momo did. Or what, what Momo just did. Stain just sits there in silence. Why are you so quiet now, Mr. Hero Killer? Because, kid, I know who you are now. The one who is quirkless, am I right? The pro hero Frieza's adoptive son? You are a real hero, so... So being beat by a quirkless hero is enough for me to respect you. Cops then find Stain at the scene, but Ida, Momo, and Izuku leave so they don't get into, well, any trouble. And then Hosu, Hosu basically calms down as all the Nomus are defeated and the inter internships are actually forced to end early. They then arrive at, at school a couple days later. Aizawa announces that there will be a final exam, both a written and practical. The class is given time to study, in which both Momo and Izuku study together. And also, they train together to help help Momo how to, how to use key, I mean, a little bit better. But given that they only had about two more days, it didn't make too big of a difference. After the written final is finished, the class is sent out to the gym, and the teachers are waiting. 
This year, problem children, you won't be fighting robots. That just isn't practical. So you all will be fighting the teachers. It is said that there's going to be teams of two of students. And then Aizawa announces all those teams. Plus, who will they be facing for, for a teacher? Aizawa then slightly smirks and begins saying the last team. And the last team is Katsuki Bakugo and Azuka Midoriya versus our very own Symbol of Peace All Might. And that is where we're going to end off part two of this What If. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And make sure to comment down below any suggestions for future What Ifs. And um, yeah, I mean, make sure also to check the description um, and check out those links below. It would mean a lot to me. And I hope all y'all have an amazing day. Later. Well,